So I've been working in uh, the area of open access almost pretty much since my involvement in the, in the field of scholarly communication because I see that being one of the most pressing things that needs to be done is open up research to a broader public, be it at small institutions and uh, as well to people in developing countries. Uh, it's a very exciting area to be working in because there's open access has really gained a lot of momentum in the last few years, going from this obscure topic to something that now almost everybody working in a university uh, knows about and, and has some opinions about. Um, it's an area for which, in which there's a lot of technological developments that go hand in hand with making open access easier, but it's also an area of which now there's a lot of policy making and really seeing the movement take off is a really exciting thing to be a part of and to be able to contribute to. I sort of fell into this area um, because of my background in computer science. I started working in 2006 at a research centre in Toronto and one of my primary responsibilities was working with a scholarly journal. I was drawn to it because of the technological challenges that I faced while at that, uh, while at that job, but as I got involved with some of the technological aspects, I started to see um, that uh, all of the other things that were going on in the background around the editors, around the issues of open access and um, having research be freely accessible. And I was shocked to see that uh, how much research was actually behind paywalls and the disadvantage and the injustice that I thought that this created for, um, for people working from small institutions or people working from developing countries, and in particular around Latin America, which is the primary area that I've been focusing my research on. I really love the multifaceted aspect of being a university professor, getting a chance to both do uh, research, have on the ground sort of hands-on practical uh, experience working with people in the communities that I'm trying to have impact on, uh, as well as the teaching aspects. So it's this multifaceted approach, this thing that really draws me to academia, something that I can, don't think I could get in any other sector. I can remember specifically with, uh, with one student, uh, where the feedback that I you know, gave him back on his paper, he came back and started talking to me and asking more all these questions and wanting to keep working on, uh, on, on their paper even beyond the course grade just because he thought that he touched on something that, uh, that had some merit and some value that could be taken off, uh, offline, off the course. Uh, and those kind of moments where you actually get to see the inspiration that you can give students and the positive impact that can have on them has been uh, tremendously valuable to me.